Hi guys, today I'll show you how to make baby eggplant curry. Baby eggplant is cooked in a thick spiced gravy. This is one of my favorite ways to enjoy eggplant. This thick gravy requires some toasting of spices and blending, but this dish is absolutely worth the effort. We'll need two medium yellow onions chopped, a two inch piece of ginger cut up, and 10 small garlic cloves cut up, two medium tomatoes cut up, quarter cup of grated fresh or frozen coconut, two tablespoons coriander seeds, one tablespoon sesame seeds, and one teaspoon cumin seeds, two dried red chilies, three tablespoons of raw peanuts, one teaspoon of poppy seeds, two green chilies, more if you like it spicy, one teaspoon of mustard seeds, quarter teaspoon ground turmeric, few pinches of hing powder, fresh cilantro leaves, about a quarter cup, and of course our beautiful baby eggplants. These look like purple jewels. They're mild in flavor and not bitter. I've washed them and patted them dry. Make sure they are dry because we need to fry these. I have 16 eggplants, one and a half pounds or about 750 grams. To add sourness to the dish, I'll be using a small piece of tamarind. Pour a quarter cup of boiling water over this and let it soak while you're cooking the other ingredients. We'll use the drained water when making the gravy. Finally, brown sugar or jaggery just a teaspoon to balance the sourness. Heat up a pan, add the coriander seeds, cumin seeds, and sesame seeds. Peanuts, stir and toast for a few minutes on low heat until you smell it. Add the poppy seeds and two red chilies. Toast another minute. I can smell all the spices. So I'll turn off the heat and set this aside to cool. When it's cool, grind it to a powder. In the same pan, toast the raw grated coconut for a few minutes until dry. That looks good. Remove from the pan and set aside. I'm using coconut oil because I love the taste of it, especially in this dish. About three tablespoons. It looks like white clumps because it's the middle of winter here and 30 degrees outside. Let it melt and add the chopped onion, ginger, and garlic. A little salt. Stir and cook until soft and golden. In the meantime, cut each eggplant two times and stop an inch before the stem so the eggplant will hold together when cooked. The onions are ready. Put them aside to cool before blending. Heat up a large pan to fry the eggplant. I'm using my favorite cast iron wok. Pour enough vegetable oil to fry the eggplant. They do tend to sputter, so I recommend using a splatter screen. When the oil's hot, add the eggplants and fry for just a few minutes. You're not trying to cook them completely, just soften them a little. They'll cook later in the gravy. When the skin turns color, turn them over. Once they're ready, drain them on paper towels. In your blender, grind the sauteed onions, garlic, ginger, grated coconut, and the two tomatoes cut up. Add just enough water to grind it completely smooth. Heat up the same pan and add a tablespoon of coconut oil. Add a teaspoon of mustard seeds, and when they pop, add curry leaves if you have them, a sprig, the green chili slit in half, quarter teaspoon ground turmeric. Cook just for a few seconds until the raw smell of the turmeric goes away. Make sure you turn down the heat to prevent the turmeric from burning. Add three pinches of hing powder, the ground onion mixture, ground up spice mixture, and a teaspoon of salt, a cup and a half of water. It's a good way to get out anything remaining in the blender. Stir this well. Cover and cook 10 minutes on medium low, stirring in between. After 10 minutes, the gravy is getting thick. Taste and add salt if necessary. Remember the eggplant is not salted. Add the strained tamarind water, about one tablespoon. Stir well and add the eggplant, coating them with the gravy. Try to spoon some of the gravy inside the eggplant so they really absorb all the flavors. Remember the eggplants are not seasoned. I'm adding the teaspoon of jaggery. Cover and cook for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, the gravy is thick and creamy. Turn off the flame. The eggplants are cooked and still hold together nicely. Sprinkle some chopped cilantro leaves on top. I like to leave the pot covered for 15 minutes or as long as you have to let all the flavors really get into the eggplant. The longer it sits, the better it tastes. The gravy is so delicious and complex from the coconut, peanuts, sesame seeds, and spices. If you liked watching this recipe, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.